guys so welcome back so in today's lecture we are going to do physical quantities and measurement techniques techniques okay so let's start so what is the definition of measurement basically basically measurement is a process okay so basically it is a process in which we can measure any physical quantity okay in which we can measure any physical quantity okay any physical quantity so what is measurement is the process in which we can measure any physical quantity so we are done with measurement now let's do physical quantity so what is so let's me write let me write physical quantity so basically physical quantity is uh, anything okay it is actually anything which can be measured okay so it is basically anything which can be measured okay so what are some examples of physical quantity the first example of physical quantity is luminous intensity okay because we can calculate the intensity of light okay and the second example we can take temperature okay it's also a good example of the quantity the third example can be amount of substance okay amount of substance substance then the fourth example will be the length okay length is also a physical quantity and some other examples can be mass, weight, time, volume, feet, and current. Okay, let me write. So, mass, let's complete it till 10. Okay. Weight, the seventh example can be time. It can be uh, volume. Okay. Because we can calculate the volume, we can calculate time, we can calculate high weight, we can calculate mass, we can also calculate length, and so on. Now that's the ninth example can be the uh the speed, okay. Speed we usually do calculate speed, okay. And also current, okay. We also calculate current. So we are done with the physical quantity. What is a non-physical quantity? So a non-physical quantity is anything, okay. Anything that cannot be measured, okay. So this is called known physical quantity and in it and some examples of known physical quantity can be sadness love and can be pain okay pain is pain cannot be measured sadness cannot be measured and love can also not be measured okay and the willingness can also can also not be measured and emotions cannot also be motion and with it friendship cannot because we can uh measure these quantities as they are called non-physical quantities so basically a physical quantity is the quantity which can be measured so like for example happiness happiness cannot be measured okay and you can also not measure sense and we can also not measure depression okay and another can be anger we can't measure anger, so I guess the one is sadness, example, number two is love, number three is pain, number four is illness, number fifth is emotion, number six is friendship, number seven is happiness, number eight is sense, number nine is depression, and number ten is anger. I hope you guys are noting these points because these are very important, okay? And I frequently tested uh these definitions of frequently tested in the past papers and some school questions also okay so do i write some notes on it let's now start with the base quantity so what is a base quantity base quantity basically means the fundamental physical quantities okay so the so in the international system of units means the SI units there are seven base quantities okay and in it comes the length okay so length is one of the unit okay it's base its length is one of the quantity and its base unit is meter okay and its symbol is m right 
in mass so mass uh, is also a base quantity is base unit is kilogram okay and its unit is kg small k and g okay it's base and now we have come in the third one which is time times base unit is seconds okay and its unit is its symbol is s okay now let's do on the fourth which is electric current its base unit is ampere okay ampere and uh, its symbol is A. Then it comes the temperature, which is uh, uh which is recorded in Kelvin, means the base unit of it is Kelvin, and its symbol is K capital K. Okay, the amount of substance. Okay, this is also a, phys a fundamental physical quantity. Its uh, base unit is mole, and symbol is MOL. Okay, it means it's just E is just removed from it, and luminous intensity is base unit is candela. Okay. So it is measured in candela and its unit is CD. Okay. So these are some base units. Okay. And that how and that what are its symbols and what is the uh base quantities, base units. Okay. So uh so that's it for the class. So in today's lecture, we have covered the base unit, the base quantities, what is non physical quantity was is a physical quantity and what is measurement okay so this is the first part of this chapter and we'll soon upload another part of this chapter and at the end of the chapter we will upload some past papers okay so that's it for today guys i hope you like the lecture do subscribe like